Oh, hey guys. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Theo Stevens. I am the current president of FCHS Esports. I've been president ever since early 2020, March 2020. So it's been about a year, and I've had a lot of fun here at the program. And one thing I wanted to do was do something that players can look at even past my time here at Forsyth Central. And one of these things was that I wanted to try and interview some collegiate players to see what exactly the game is like at that next level. So without further ado, I kind of interviewed them like a podcast, so it's a really long episode, but I promise if you put your phone aside or put your computer aside, and if you just listen to this, I promise you're going to love it. There's also some gameplay in the background for those of you who want to watch me somewhat not be a dumpster fire. But other than that, guys, enjoy. All right, man. So, uh, so we'll start with, um, I should probably do an intro, I guess. <laughs> it's a little scuffed. Okay, well, we're just going to improv. All right. What's up, guys? TJ here. And today I'm sitting here with KSU's Varsity Rocket League team. And I'm here with three of their members. And you guys can go ahead and introduce yourselves. Whoever wants to start. Uh, all right. Um, uh, my name is uh, Brandon Thor, you know, uh, the GOAT of the, you know, CRL team, I guess. Uh, I'm 18, you know, uh, and I just major in um, environmental engineering at KSU, I guess. That's pretty much it. You can go ahead, Wild, if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Tyler Ray. Um, 22, majoring in software engineering. Uh, I am Sean Moon. I am a third year computer science major. If you guys want to go ahead and plug your ranks, go for it. Top 100. <laughs> I would prefer to not. <laughs> uh, Rank, ranks kind of in the toilet right now. Not gonna lie. Uh, I consider. Uh, when I was on Xbox, that's top 100. Boom, there you go, man. I, I, I've, been, I'm pretty, I've been pretty high rank. I've been pretty high rank. I'm not going to get Xbox, dude. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually been on the on the world leaderboard one time at the beginning of the season, but that was not ever happened. <laughs> okay, so now that we've finished that part, everybody go ahead, just join a team. <laughs> I'm probably going to get absolutely clapped, but um, all right, we'll go ahead and start with the first question. So, right. first of all, uh, whoever wants to start answering questions, do you guys have a cost of program? Like, do you guys have a certain amount of money you guys have to pay to be a part of the program? Nah, we don't gotta nah. pay anything. Nah, I don't think so. So, does everybody, like, everybody just kinda joins for free then, almost? Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have to, like, pass tryouts or whatever, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does the whole tryout process go? I mean, typically, you have some more of, like, the administrators or coaches or captains i guess sort of like spectate spectate everyone playing and just try to pick out like who looks smart and who looks dumb and, like try to assign people to, <laughs> of try to assign people to teams and like try different combinations of people to yeah. find something like good so the varsity team hasn't changed in like a year or something yeah which i would guess i mean all of you guys are probably high gc slash ssl right i would imagine yeah. yeah, especially after you guys have been in CRL this past uh, was it this past fall? Mm -hmm. Oh my, you're fifty. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, well cool. that actually leads to my um, that leads to my next question. So if you guys each want to kind of describe what the CRL process was like for you, like playing at that highest level, and if you guys want to talk about like your favorite experiences from that, you can go ahead. Uh, well I qualified and then I subbed myself because I had to focus on school a little bit because my grades are low-key kind of slipping mm -hmm. uh but yeah i got qualifying was really fun because like we yeah. dropped into the losers bracket I, not like early but like earlier than we would have liked and i was we were all kind of a little down mm -hmm. and then we had to beat like i think we had to beat michigan and then we had to beat georgia tech to get in and like we beat georgia tech on like a last second goal that i passed to carter and carter slotted in and then the guy who was streaming got really mad at us <laughs> and he said we were and he said we were trash so that was pretty fun <laughs> like one of jordan tech's players was streaming yeah what was it like being a, what was it like being an in-state rival like that uh i mean it was fun like my girlfriend goes to tech so i got to like <laughs> i talked a little bit of shit to her of course um and yeah, I don't remember who was streaming. I don't think it wasn't Deadly. It was um, 
It started with an O. I, I could probably go look at their roster if I really wanted to and figure <laughs> it out. But, I mean, that definitely sounds like a whole bunch of fun. Yeah, when, that was um, a lot of fun. What was the series for ser like for qualifiers? Like, was it best out of threes, best out of fives? It was best of three until, like, quarters or semis it became best of fives, I think. I want to say that. Like, I think the sec the round before we qualified, so I guess semis. Yeah. Was it, um, was it like, whoever made it to finals got to qualify, or was it just kind of like yeah. you had to win the whole thing? Nah, there were there were uh, groups, and you had to finish top two in your group. Yeah, I mean it kind of changes every now and then. Though, like when yeah. I was in, was on when I was in CRO, it was like top four from like the bracket qualify. Yeah. Which oh, means, oh my I'm god! CRO because <laughs> Which... I'm like a part time student, so like for Rocket League, at least you have to be full time. Yeah. 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 Like I'm gonna be part time in the fall, so I won't be able to. To play, unfortunately. So I know that, like, on the website, it said that the starting roster was like Carter, Cursed, and then um, Tyro, I think. Yeah. So is that the current starting roster, or does that change, like, depending on the event or the week or whatever? Oh, what is it? Um, I, th I think that is. I think that's yeah, I think right that's now, pretty actually. solidified. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know if you guys were kind of like at the point where, like, I know our current starting roster, we kind of like to try and sub, like, just to get. I guess we're all kind of somewhat the same rank, so we try to get the most experience possible. I just didn't know how you guys ran mm -hmm. that. It's more so, like, who's playing the best just sort of sticks with the team for a little while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Um, all right, well, then, okay, so next thing. So what games does KSU Esports offer? Um, I Rock can't really League. tell you off the top of my head, but Rocket, Rocket League, League, Overwatch. League of Legends. Um, yeah, Big League. I think, pretty sure we have a Smite team. Uh, is there a rainbow team? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we definitely have a rainbow team. My roommate freshman year is on the rainbow team. Hmm. Um, I think we had a Fortnite team. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we do anymore. Uh, CSGO, we got a CSGO yeah, they would definitely have a CSGO team. I follow the like captain of our CSGO team on Twitch, and I watch their games sometimes. So, um, would you say that esports at KSU is something with high interest right now? Right now, yeah. I mean, yeah. the school just started with like scholarships and stuff. And yeah. They're sort of like testing the water. All right. Well, that's actually it's funny you say that. So that's actually the next thing I have on here. So in terms of scholarship money, like, have either of you guys had the ability to have that offered to you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got offered it this semester. Yeah. Was it like a huge scholarship, or was it um like kind of just? I don't know. Like, was it like really helpful, or was it just kind of something low tier? It's just something low tier. Yeah. We're either, like testing things out and trying to see like the interest and. Yeah, I think it's more something that. like that they can put on like their pamphlets or whatever. It's like oh, mm -hmm. like scholarship esports program or something like that. Yeah, I get yeah. that. But hey, at least you guys get something in return for yeah. all the work you're putting in, especially after and the we, CRL. Yeah. And there's on, like you know? a. Uh, they just like put in a like game facility not like a facility but like a uh it's like just like a corner of the student center like rec room or whatever yeah. now has a bunch of pcs in it which i mean you guys are making my job really easy because you keep talking about the questions i'm about to ask next so i was gonna <laughs> ask like i know there's some major programs uh around the country like i know boise state um like akron or akron akron <laughs> like those <laughs> like those schools have um like facilities where their players like for game days and tournaments and stuff like they go to a certain area to play do you guys yeah. have something like that or are you playing from your dorms or wherever you're set up i play from my room yeah i, I play at actually my actual own house i, I mean, don't you really could go like to the student center and play in those computers if you wanted to but it's not required yeah mm -hmm. Other um, schools do you require it though. Yeah, is there other schools, um, who, like, Oops. who have, or actually, how do I reward this? Is there other teams that have to be there, or like, do they prefer to be there? I like, actually don't know. Yeah, we don't really talk outside of, yeah. like, our circle. What about the other Rocket other League teams? teams? Anything like that? Um, I mean, they're not varsity, so like, <laughs> you don't really have to worry about that kind of stuff. But. Of course. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Well then, let me see what I have next here. Oh, what is the uh, what are like the specs of those computers in the student center that you guys are talking about? Like, are they high end or are they just kind of there? Yeah, they're for... pretty. They're pretty nice, I think. They're nicer than my yeah, computer, so. that's for sure. You guys know what's in them at all? Um, is it? No. I think there's a 2080. What? 
in them. I'm like, what? I could I could be capping, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure when I read, I'm pretty sure when I read it, they said it started with a 20. Bro, yeah. if there's a 2080 in those things, I don't even know why I'm still in my house. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. No yeah. idea about the processor, but I'm pretty sure Auto. the graphics card starts with a 20. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. So then this is something that I want to ask each of you. So let's start with Cursed. How did you originally get involved with these guys in KSU Esports as a whole? Um, I think, I don't remember. I think it was towards like the end of my high school years. I don't know when I was a senior. Um, I always knew of like, you know, the collegiate Rocket League scene, I guess. It's the college Rocket League. And I was, um... Uh, I was just around where I was. KSU was like the closest school, and I always wanted to know if like they, you know, offered something like that. Mm -hmm. So, I think I looked it up if there was like a KSU Rocket League team, and there was like a like a Discord, like a esports Discord. I think I had joined that, and then I don't remember what website I went to, but it was like a <laughs> forum where you could um, you know, sign up to actually, you know, like try out or something like that. Yeah. And I and they liked my um. Like the info that I put on my tryout, I guess. So I was able to get it like a tryout in. So, so you were already at KSU when you looked into esports. Uh, um, Sorry. Or, or like, was it like your entry <laughs> oh, freshman a, year? Yeah, I was about to go into. Okay, so you had already year. gone through the admission process and gotten accepted and all yeah, that, and then yeah, it was just yeah, like yeah. something that you got the chance to walk into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so um, that's actually another thing, too. So, obviously, a lot of sports that are really popular have, like, you know, kids get offered to come play there. Mm -hmm. But with you guys, um, are you all kind of like walk-ons, I guess is the term? Like, you guys all kind of came to the program and eventually found each other on a team? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty much how it is. Nobody was recruited, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, do you yeah. think that's like a future possibility? Every... Yeah, What's up? I think so. Everything's, like, new. Like, that's why the scholarship isn't much. That's why... Everything's still kind of getting organized. Yeah. Uh, wait, so did the program start, was it last year or the year before? This semester. Oh, really? With, like, yeah, varsity. Literally, literally January is when I mean, there. like, there's been, like, esports clubs. But like, not the an official club. thing. Yeah, it became yeah. official this semester. Wow. There's only one team that's, like, an official club outside of the esports team, and I'm pretty sure that's the CSGO. Okay. Oh, well, um, that's a whole other thing, too. So college probably doesn't care about this as much as um, as high school does, but we have to play through the Georgia High School Association, and so they have bans on certain games, like CSGO, Rainbow, and stuff like that. Is there any restrictions on the games you guys can offer, or is it more just if you find a team, you can offer the game? Not that I know of. I think it's pretty pretty open to anything. I mean, as long as you're not playing, like, a hentai game or something. Yeah. Too, yeah. <laughs> I, I imagine there's some restrictions, but nothing that I can think of. Okay, so, um, all right, so one big question when I talked to the kids that we have in our program was the amount of commitments, like, the practice schedule, like, that type of thing. Um, oh, and then I'll get back to asking you other guys, or, like, the other guys about how they got into KSU, but I want to go ahead and ask that. So, uh, like, the commitment. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, whoever oh. wants to start with that. Oh. Uh, so it's a, I mean, like, it's kind of it, like, we don't have like a schedule or like a minimum hours thing or anything like that. It's just kind of like, if you just got to play and don't fall off, like, for example, this semester, like I was playing a lot in the beginning and then I kind of had to do school a lot. And Carter said, he was like, yeah, curse is grinding. So I was like, it doesn't make any sense for me to stay because I'm just not putting in the time. Mm, so like, yeah. there's definitely like a time, it's not like a requirement or anything like that, but there's definitely a good amount of hours you gotta put into this game to stay yeah. clean. Of course. Yeah. The school doesn't really enforce anything yet. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing like it's that. It's the very first semester they're offering it, so they yeah. gotta figure things out. Is there anything that like, like you guys as a team, do you guys hold yourself to any amount of anything in terms of like staying at the top of your game and all that? I mean, yeah, but I mean, I'm I'm not playing in CRL, but yeah. <laughs> and wait, and who said that? Was that you, Cherry? Yeah. Which um, okay. So, question for you then, real quick. So you're obviously listed as the coach, and I want to know, like, like when I first heard coach, I was thinking of like somebody who's like way older who was brought in to come coach Rocket League, and then when I heard that you were their age, I was really interested. Like, obviously, with the first year of the program, I'm not surprised that they have a, a player coaching. I guess in that case, but um, I want yeah. to know as as a coach, is there anything like that you've 
like, I don't know, like, any fun experiences you've had with these guys or, like, anything that you can kind of talk about, like, as as a coach? Is there anything special that's kind of been a part of your experience? Um, I mean, I was only their coach. Like, I started this semester, so. I mean, I've only really gone through replay reviews with them. Yeah. Which I guess I'm sure you guys can probably agree. Like, it helps to have an outside eye, right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially when it's wild. Yeah, man. <laughs> what is big? What is big old brain? Big brain. <laughs> so I would guess. Yeah. I would guess wild is a good coach. Then that's. That was gonna be my next question. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, I'm still sure. like. I'm still more of a way more of a player than a coach, though. Yeah. Like, if I was full time, I would be on the team. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, in that case, so let's get back to the original question about um, each of your like experiences getting into KSU. So let's go with uh, let's go wild since we were just talking about you. So how did you originally get into KSU and their program? Um. Well, this was back in like 2017, 2018 or so. So like, I just started my freshman year and just started to get back into Rock League, but I was like gold. <laughs> I was hard stuck gold for like two years. <laughs> <laughs> and like. I heard of CRL, so I was like looking around for people to play with, mm -hmm. and like I finally found someone, but like he was GC or something. He said, "Nah, too trash." <laughs> basically, <laughs> and I was like, "All right," and like the next semester, I was like grinding so hard in between. Then it's like, "All right, I'm GC now. Can I join?" <laughs> He's and, like, yeah, do we need people? <laughs> and that was, um, was that you, like, your experience getting into KS? You were just getting into a team for CRL. Uh, just a team for CRL. This was before there was, like, any Rocket League Discord for KSU. Okay, so how did like, you get involved this past year, then? Like, into KSU specifically? In the past year? Like, like, when the program started and you ended up being the coach, like, how did that come to be? Um, basically... Like, I was already sort of coaching the team. Like, I was going to the replays, and they started offering, like, a quote-unquote paid position. It's really just, like, a scholarship, but, like, because I was already coaching them. Yeah. I just, like, asked, like, can I get that scholarship? Yeah, something <laughs> else. Is there something that you got just for being a coach, or do you get the same as the players? Um, I honestly don't know how much the players are getting. Or, like... How it compares? Yeah. I think it's the same, but I'm not. I think it, sure. I think it's the same. Yeah. All right. Well, so let me see here. Um. All right. So one thing I know that a lot of college players that I've had to like that I've gotten the chance to talk to in the past normally try and join teams outside of their school team, like just to get yeah. the extra competitive practice. Do you guys all do the same, or do you, some of you do the same? Do you guys condone that? Not condone that? How does that work? Yeah, I do. Like, even when I was playing in CRL, even now, like I've. I actually had like a team outside of it that I probably prioritized more. But yeah, I don't have a team right now because I'm not really focusing on that too much. Yeah. Yeah, the only but team I, I have right now is zero. So. When I was <laughs> when I was playing, I had a team. Yeah. Um. All right. So. Oh. Okay. Were any of you guys involved in the esports scene, like, um, like with your high schools? No, no, my team, my no. Team, no. <laughs> like I know that high school esports some that started like very recently, but I didn't know if you guys had the chance uh, to be a part of that in any fashion. No, uh, I was okay. way, yeah, way was after my graduation. <laughs> yeah, they might now. I really don't know. I don't like check, keep up with my high school that much. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So then. one question, like I think I could probably like I feel like this is a simple question, but at the same time there was some kids who really want to know. So obviously with football and basketball, there's Division One, Division Two, and stuff like that. But I want to know that if, like if, like I know Rocket League, it doesn't really matter too much. But do you think that certain D1 or D2 colleges, like do you think that that plays a role in Rocket League esports at all, or like do you think D1 colleges have an advantage because of the funding that they might have? No. No, I don't no. think so. Like, no, I just, you can, like, see teams with, like, small schools or just, like, bad schools go far in CRL just because of, like, the convic like conviction, I guess, and, like, how much they practice in scrim. 
Like, yeah, I've the... never heard of University of Akron before I started playing. Well, that is a major school, but... Oh, well, one example that I was yeah. thinking of, like, I know University of North Texas, I think they are D1, but they're one of those, like, you know, lesser-known schools because they don't have a super strong basketball or super strong football team or oh. something like that. But then they kind of found their calling through Rocket League yeah. and all that. So, just kind of want to go yeah. that. Um, all right. I mean, so, oh, yeah, go it's for it. nice. It's like nice it's... to have that kind of funding, like, and obviously if you have more resources that can accelerate things or make things more, like, I guess incentivize training and stuff, but you don't think it really matters in terms like you know like if you're good you're good if you're bad you're bad like that type of thing. Yeah. Um, all right. Nice. So. Oh yeah, go. No, you're good. You're okay. Good. Well, the last person that I guess I didn't talk about their experience. So Moonshine. So how did you originally get into KSU's program and all that? Uh, I didn't know CRO was a thing, and then. I was a freshman in 2017, and I realized, like, I was, like, playing on Xbox, and um, I, like, found out we had, like, a Rocket League team, and I was, like, a champ at the time. What class were you, like, like junior, senior, like, what were you at the time? I was a, it was the second semester of my freshman year, I think. Gotcha. And, I don't know, I figured out that we had, a, like, CRO was a thing that you could like qualify for and I had played esports in the past like as a kid like I played fighting games mostly mm -hmm. So this was like a little different and so I Don't know. I just tried out and I played with uh, I played with Colt <laughs> Yeah, so let's see they call me trash <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I played with Colt and uh, I was like a bat I was like a little batmobile and I wasn't really doing anything I was playing like 1800s or whatever he was at the time he probably wasn't that high I, he just seemed like it because i was a champ and he was like oh yeah you're good uh show up to tryouts this day and we just it was like a you just like played people in your that were like also trying out and then they just made teams and then that's just kind of how i figured it out i just kind of found it online really yeah all right, well, let me see if I have anything else. And that experience is sort of, like, similar for schools that are, like, not official varsity teams. Like, yeah, so. it's like you find the club and you try out. Yeah, you kind of do some digging in those yeah. situations, but... All right, so, so I guess you could say that since you guys just started, like, the talent that you guys have now is probably just... Like, it's stuff that everybody who's on teams right now, like, for the varsity level, we're probably already at KSU. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me see here. There are good players looking at it in, for, like, the future. Yeah. That's something but, that I noticed, like, that kids, yeah. like, are flooding into the Discord. And not flat, I don't want to say the word flooding, but <laughs> there are definitely people, like, who They're in the Discord, up. yeah. Yeah, that are, show up to the Discord that are in high school. Well, and are like, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. Yeah. Have you guys, um, like, have any of you guys, since you guys are kind of like that, that number one varsity team, like, you guys probably have that reputation in the program as being one of the better teams. Have you guys had to do any, like, recruiting, like, of any sort? Like, have you guys been asked by some of the other coaches or program managers to try and help with some of that stuff? Like, from other schools? Well, just, like, to try and help, help their... I guess help they let me think like to reach like help their reach as a program since you guys are kind of like the top dogs of your program uh no we haven't really been asked I mean it's possible that maybe like like giraffe may have got asked like when he was active and like the higher ups in the discord probably may have had some like questions like that but not me at least yeah i personally haven't been approached either about anything like that and yeah. i don't think i ever will <laughs> yeah well if you guys haven't been approached about i guess recruiting like what was the experience like after crl like i know you guys didn't do too well but at the same time crl is not easy to get into by any means yeah um, like, kind of like what was the school's reaction to that i guess um all i really remember was uh i don't really remember much about how it was after all i know is that it was it was it was stressful for me uh, i don't know why because i didn't really i didn't qual with them but i did do league play but it was like 
I'm, it was like the most nervous thing I ever done in my life. Guys, with me. I'm like a lie. It was it was really tough, and Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. after, after, um, I don't know. It just kind of calmed down a little bit. Finally, actually got a feel of how that how that felt. So if we ever do get in that situation again, like it, it will probably be a, a little bit more better. But it was definitely um, <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Never done it before. yeah, I can imagine yeah. for sure. Um, so what did you like? How did you guys do in the past year of quals? Like, wasn't there just one for the spring? Um, um I mean, I... the last time before this team, um, the only other time we were in CRL was when like I was playing with two completely different players, when like the team was completely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was like the only other qualifier besides like the last fall where we played CRL. Cause that's the only one that you guys have actually played in, or did um, you guys actually well, play in the last one? Oh, you're talking about the spring, like just the qualifiers, spring? not the actual yeah. final league. Yeah, the uh. spring ones they weren't, it was, I don't know, it was kind of weird because it was a lot more tougher this time. I don't know, the teams it was like a, it was a weird bracket this, this yeah, season, I guess. I don't know, so it well, was, only took 10 teams out of instead of like 16. Yeah, oh, yeah, they did, I mean, yeah, they, they completely teams. changed the formatting. Yeah, and we almost did it. We almost got this uh, reverse sweep on, I don't know, what's Florida Poly would have made us go into, uh, I don't know. Which isn't know. Florida Poly in right now? Yeah, they qualified. But it, we almost got the reverse sweep on them on the second qual. The first qual we didn't do as well. We, it was, we had played some really bad teams at first, and then we played a really good team, and it completely threw us off. And oh, yeah. I, I the get second sure. qual, it was, it was just, we almost did it, but I don't know. It was, it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, in that case, so in terms of the, um, I had a few more questions about the actual, like, fall CRL season. So, in terms of playing in some of those huge names, like um, some of LSU guys or some of uh, Akron's guys, do you guys have any certain <laughs> players that you got the chance to play against and you kind of, like, got to see them play and you were like, wow, like, this is really happening? Or, like, this guy's insane or something like that? Um, um, the only, <sighs> I don't think we ever played, um, I I don't think they played with me for LSU, but I, the only team I really remember that was like, you know, like a really good team. They were like almost pro. I think it was Tristan's team, which was Akron. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, it was it was really just Tristan. I remember playing the only the only really pro player that I remember playing against. Uh, never played like any other good teams like that had like you know Bambi, you know, and all those other players. But I think it was really Akron that had the the pro player that was the really good one. And I, it was actually really fun to do. Even though we didn't, you know, go in thinking that we were going to win every game. It yeah. was really tough, but it was it was really fun to play. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I know I can talk from a viewer standpoint. I think most of the CRL fan base over the past couple seasons, like watching players like Tristan's or Ajax and seeing them play, like I feel like, yeah. the, like the fact that they're on a pro team makes them seem like they're on another level. But that's why I wanted to ask you guys to see if they really did play like that or if it was just kind of no. like they just no. looked like it. Uh, <laughs> they're, just because you have a pro on your team doesn't make you play anywhere near pro level. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, for a lot of the people, or a lot of the programs that do have pros on their team, they end up not doing that well. Really? Because the pros can't really make time. To like practice with a CRL team, mm -hmm. like Winthrop, for example, like they have T Carell, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and they didn't qualify for CRL. And that's which team? Winthrop. I I also didn't even know oh. T Carell was a college player, but okay. Yeah, yeah there's so. there's a lot of <laughs> pros at various schools. Well, I mean, yeah, the player base like, is so young too. Like and you don't you don't even you don't hear about it because they don't qualify. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it is. I like, I really liked playing against Northwood. Or is that the school with Pirates yeah. and Buzz? Uh, and Noxes yeah, and yeah, all yeah. them. And Noxes, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That team to me, I felt like that was the cleanest team we played against in this in the fall. And we I mean we got stomped like on stream, but like that that was the only game or the only set that I played against that I was like, damn, like there's Thank there's you, yeah. there's like there's levels. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, I mean, I think just the fact that you guys made CRL, like, I think you guys are already more that upper-level, mid-level SSL tier team, but I just, I didn't know if you guys felt like, like, other than the big, the big teams, like, um, Akron, Northwood, like, those teams are obviously probably at the top of their level, like, even though they might not be RLCS teams, they're probably the top of CRL by at least a pretty decent amount, right? Or do you think they're not yeah. that far ahead? Yeah. 
I think Qual like literally every 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 season. I feel like yeah. um, not every season, but they like they, I don't know if I don't know about Akron. I don't know how many times they call, but every oh, time I see <laughs> every time I see them like play, they or like you know remember league play starts. Yeah, you always see Akron or Northwood on them on the on the game. So it's yeah. they pretty much call all the time. So okay, um, yeah. so let me see. Um, okay, so Curse during that whole CRL conversation, he was just talking about the fact that that you guys had gotten to play Akron and all that. But Wild mm -hmm. and Moonshine, um, I like when you guys were active. Like, were you guys active in the fall? Before I ask this question, yeah, I was, I was active, active in. 2019 so we went you, to the we went to the finals in our region so do you guys have any teams that you got to play that you um like or player specifically or anything like that that you guys got to play against and you know it was like kind of like a surreal moment like since he just talked about akron i mean no i don't really get intimidated oh, it must be nice <laughs> <laughs> what i wouldn't about, say i get like yeah. intimidated but like i don't know i see these, I see some of the guys in ranked, so I mean, like, I've mm -hmm. seen big names before, but, like, it's more just the way they play. I'm not really worried about their names. It's yeah. just, like, when, oh, when we did. played, like, when we played Northwood, like, that was probably my favorite team to play against because they were just so good. Like, mm -hmm. they were so clean with everything. They, like, I don't know. It was really cool playing them. But, like, I didn't really even, like, know the names of the players. I just knew that, like, they were all in the current RLCSX like split or whatever was going on. Mm -hmm. So like that was probably the team that like I felt the most I don't, I don't want to say nervous because I don't really get like that nervous. Yeah. But like that was definitely like a game where I felt that I needed to like actually like up what I was doing just because of who I was playing against. Who yeah. is, um, all right, well then that goes into one more question then about in terms of specific players and teams and whatnot. Have you guys, like, obviously you guys are high ranks in game. Have you guys ever gotten the chance to play against some, like, really good pro players or, like, teams yeah. of pro yeah, players? Of and, and if so, I, what are you, like, your favorites? Um, I remember beating Knox's Pirates and Buddy when they were a team. Oh. Ooh. Um. <laughs> We swept them. Which we, is, I mean, Noxus and Buddy are both on teams fighting for RLCSX spots, so that's yeah, that's yeah. a really cool one. Um, I took Charlotte Phoenix to like. Was that the old roster with Karma in them? Yeah. Yeah. It was Karma and and uh, the dude with the nose, I think. <laughs> nose and nose dude with Dapper, but. Oh, yeah. that was with Dapper in them. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, took him to like a four minute OT in game three and. Got scored on because of lag, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, what about the rest yeah. of you? Any like any special players or teams like actually okay, in I, the pro I scene? Have a, I have a question. Like by special or like favorite? Do you mean by like was like the hardest to play against or like just you know just playing against them? Honestly, both. Okay. <laughs> okay um, that's a question. I uh, I would say um. Arsenal. I think Arsenal's pretty good. And one person I played, he's a really good twos player, at least. Like, what I see. Whenever I, whenever I played against him, um, I played against him a couple months ago. I lost, but it was it was still fun to play, because, like, you get to really see how madly consistent these players are, and it's actually really fun to play, actually. But, Would you say, uh, so, like, those pro players, <laughs> you, like, <laughs> like, the learning experience, like, that you guys get from playing these like these really good pro players, these really good CRL teams, would you say that the the amount of like I guess like new things you can learn? Like do you think that you can learn a lot from those players? Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah I think somewhat. I, I mean, mean one like one five minute rank game isn't gonna teach you very much. Y yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Is there anything that you guys uh, like as you're playing them, like maybe if you go back and replays or something, like is there something that you see them do? That you're like, I didn't think about that or something. Like, you guys are obviously like high level, them. but they're, like, pro players, like, if you go look at the SSL, like, ranking, like, MMR spread, like, those guys are a good 400, 500 MMR above where actual SSL stands. Yeah. So, I didn't know if there was um, anything, like, the day like is special. If it's, like, a good, like, say you meet them in, like, a random oh. tournament or something, like, yeah. a, say, like, a, maybe, like, a smashed uh, GG tournament or something, like, if, I don't know if they still do this anymore, but if, say, if it's something like that or, like, a really, really good ranked game or something like that, like a really good private match and i don't know they say you go into like a five minute overtime each mm -hmm. game and you mess up maybe maybe go back and watch and see uh how it was but 
like like Moon said, like a just a one five minute game. You're not really gonna learn that much off the, just off just that. But it depends. Like if you keep, like if you just play the same pro like eight games in a row, maybe. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, or like you have to play a whole series against teams like Noxes and them. Or like oh, oh yeah, yeah, to yeah. actually I learn. Mean, I can't say that I learned from any single experience, but like I've had lots of experience against good teams and like I've learned something like over time mm -hmm. yeah that's usually how it'd be what do you think um like you guys just hearing you guys talk to each other and joke around with each other and all that you guys sound like you guys are all pretty close so I want to know outside of the video games outside of CRL like what do you think esports has done for you guys I mean to me I mean not much I mean as much I mean I, I mean I don't know <laughs> I don't no, know. You're good. I feel like I met. I feel like I I met a lot of like a lot of new friends off. You know, just playing uh, Rocket League, pretty much like at a like a not, not a pro level. I don't want to say that. Just I don't know. Just playing at a, <laughs> a, a, <laughs> a higher level than most. You know, so I meet a lot of different people. So it's 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 fun to play. I'm not gonna lie. It's really fun to play. Gotcha. Yeah, it's been like a crazy good journey for me. Like. Yeah. Or any of you guys, like, like the way you say funny. that, you make it sound like the end of like a romantic movie or something. Like it's about to like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, like are you mean. a are you a senior right now, Cherry? Uh, no, I'm a junior. Okay. Like, no, I'm not. My journey's not over. Yeah, you guys still have <laughs> at least one really good year as a whole squad, right? I guess, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> my journey's not over till either I have a blue tag or I'm dead. <laughs> 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 well, I think a lot of people um, in our program will definitely be rooting for you guys, and it has been a lot of fun interviewing you guys. And if you had anything else that you guys wanted to talk about, like Not just uh, yeah, go for it. Um, what school? Do you guys, what school do you go to? What high school? Forsyth Central. So we are we're right above Atlanta. We're not far from Kennesaw at all. Mm -hmm. Um. Which I mean, the main reason why I wanted to interview you guys first is that I wanted to start in state because mm -hmm. a lot of um, kids who are getting these chances to play state playoffs, stuff like that, playing high school esports, are really thinking about coming to schools like Kennesaw, coming to schools like UNG or Georgia or Georgia Tech, and having mm -hmm. the chance to play esports. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're, we're right outside Atlanta. It's definitely something that gets advertised now. Like, when I was looking at colleges back in 2017 is when I graduated high school, like, I didn't see anything about it, like, ever. Yeah. And yeah, now, exactly. like, now, like, some of my old friends who are, that I used to know in high school are, like, applying to colleges, and, like, I'm seeing, like, oh, state-of-the-art esports facility, and it's like a, <laughs> it's like an, a, like an, it's like a, an arena filled with, <laughs> filled with computers, like, I went to, I, I went to University of Kentucky for, uh, like, a few days, and then I dropped out, and then I came down here, because it was really far, I didn't realize how far it was until I actually made the drive. Yeah. And, and now, if you look at University of Kentucky, like, they have one of those, like, crazy, like, 50 to 100 computers in a room, like, it looks like a LAN party, like, it's crazy, the and now that's something that they advertise. Yeah, like, they didn't advertise that when I was applying there. But now it's like on their website and they're like, hey, look at this. Like, this is an attractive thing that will get students to come to this school now. Do yeah. you guys like regret the fact that you're older? <laughs> like that you haven't gotten the chance to play <laughs> high school esports? Or do you like like where you guys are and the opportunities you've gotten to be a part of so far? Um, I mean, I don't really regret it. That's, like college, I think, is still a little bit like has a lot more like investment in it than high school yeah absolutely. So, like, like i was not thinking about video yeah. like playing rocket league when i was 17 i was oh. thinking about <laughs> yeah i was like, like thinking about like getting into schools and stuff like that it wasn't really until i got here that i actually <laughs> well you make it seem rocket like league. nobody even wants to get into college <laughs> 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 no it's not that it's yeah. more just like if like i was like my grades were slipping when i was playing rocket league a lot like I, I definitely had to figure out like the balance and I can it's easier to figure out the balance in college in my opinion I'm sure the uh, like the freedom is probably a lot better in college yeah especially uh, trying to fit in a CRL like a CRL team practicing in there I'm sure yeah um, all right yeah. well then in that case so I have one last question this is gonna be your chance to get your Matthew McConaughey motivational type speech in 
that. <laughs> so let's start with Curse. So do you have one thing that you'd like to recommend to just a high schooler or a high school esports player in general? Yeah. Um. Ooh. I wouldn't. I would say you can. You know, you can. You know, do esports in college. Like you can. Uh, you know, play the game that you want to. Like at a high level with some with some friends, I guess. Like for school, but you also got to realize that you're in school. You know, it's it's sometimes hard. You know, to um, put down the game to you know actually get your work done. You don't want to actually get you know kicked out of school because you want to you know go pro at at Rocket League or yeah. uh, you it's, know any type of game. So it's, come that's first. really one of, yeah. So that's that's really one of the main things that you want to also try to um, uh, prioritize when you're um, like try to balance them both. But you know you always got to know that school is you know a priority basically. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Cherry, what about you? Um, I think that if you really want to do good in CRL or anything in Rocket League, you have to be extremely good at time management, like Curse was saying, but, like, you have to know how to make a lot of time. Like, you have to practice really hard to even stand a chance. Yeah. That's true. Like, I think when I was, like, peaking in hours, I was playing, like, 10 hours a day. While also going to like six classes and I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous, but yeah, I'm sure <laughs> that's like that has effects probably just outside of the games or the classroom too. Just, like sitting through a screen playing Rocket League all day. Like I know the rank grind has been a struggle for a lot of us, especially if you solo queue. But definitely yeah. finding that time management is something that I think a lot of us can get behind. Um, yeah. All right, so Moonshine, you're last. What do you think? Uh, just in terms of like. I don't know. When I first started like playing this game, like there were a lot of talks of this game like dying, and I was thinking like, oh shit, well, like I don't want to commit all this time to like a game that's not going to be around. But then I realized that that's kind of like a kind of a shitty way of thinking about it. Like you should just play the game that you really enjoy instead mm -hmm. of like trying to like grind Fortnite for the money. Cause like you're just like you're gonna burn out way quicker. Like if you play a game that you enjoy and like you love, you're gonna get good at it if you dedicate the time to it. And it's gonna be a lot more like fulfilling if you actually like love the game as opposed to just getting into it for like the money. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, that's... Awesome. yeah go for it. Uh, uh, I don't know what's that like. <laughs> I like Rocket League, but it's like extremely stressful. Yeah, it's stressful. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, I definitely go through phases where I'm like, this is the worst game ever, but I can't believe I give it so much of this time, so much of my time. And then there are other times where I'm like, I'm like, yeah, there are other times where I'm like, holy, oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Like, exactly. I love this game. I never want to put it down. Yeah, I've been the best cycle. Like, yeah. So much. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, um, well. It has been an honor getting to talk to you guys. You guys all are definitely the type of people. Like, I, like, I can see you guys kind of making it far with this whole, like, CRL and all that. And the fact that you guys have already made it once is already super, like, that's a whole accomplishment in itself. And I hope the best for you guys completely. Thanks. If you need any help, like, finding other schools, like, yeah, talk to me. Because I don't have, like, a lot of contacts. Like, other schools to do this for? Yeah. yeah, like if you need other schools out of state or something, like, I can hook you up. I appreciate it. That actually means a lot because I'm going to have to figure out who I'm going to want to do next after <laughs> this. I was thinking UNG because there's no way I can get Georgia Tech or, like, Georgia right now. But um, why, why not? Well, I just don't have contacts there yet. Like, I was starting in places that I knew p people from or had t contacts in. But oh, to, I gotcha. But to mm -hmm. hear you say that you'd help, that means a lot. And I know a lot of the kids in the program back, uh, back here at Central will appreciate that. Mm-hmm. All right, so first go away. <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll probably do is um we'll get one more game in after this just to kind of let you guys kind of flex a little bit, do whatever you want to do, have some fun with it, um and then we'll probably end there. Or actually, oh. I have an idea. <laughs> so right. what if we end the entire session off with a chaos game? <laughs> just, oh, God, no. Just, no, just to add to the chaos, just to give the interview a fun ending. Let's do it. 
Okay, <laughs> but you, after so you, you can't say fun and chaos. And <laughs> chaos is great. What are you talking about? That's the best part. <laughs> it's, it's the game mode so that we all fun. the game mode that we all love to hate. I want ranked chaos. <laughs> what? I've been asking for ranked chaos since like 2015. Where you're oh tripping? God. Yeah, you scare me. <laughs> I love chaos. It's hilarious. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, that's game. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, in that case, we'll queue for a chaos game now. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh my lord. Destroy some. Uh, yeah, get some good, some good team passing plays and get a few clips. <laughs> oh, come down to me. Uh, oh. There you go. I tried. Yeah, I got. Right. I got absolutely nailed by three people. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, oh, let's all jump in the net. Uh, <laughs> I'm flying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hit uh -oh. me. Oh, oh, good luck. <laughs> Bang. Go. Up to you. Oh, big plays. Oh, my God. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, pinch it. Uh, Whoa. Oh. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> I'm back with zero beans. Where's all the boost? I'm trying yeah, to get it. Okay. it. Alright, I'm scoring. Never mind. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust, trust, trust the process. Oh, there's only um, one. You got it. You're, you're what? I can't see. Oh, oh my God. Can't. Wow. Come here. Give me that. Yeah, dust. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I cannot even tell what's happening right now. Oh yeah, one more. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah <laughs> Good pass. Three zero. Yo, yo, you guys trying to go into chaos turn here? Like, trying to go, trying to go all the way right now? <laughs> <laughs> trying to start chaos CRL right now? <laughs> Shit, no. I gotta do a project procrastinated three months. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Time management, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. The kids at home are gonna take notes. <laughs> <laughs> do your homework, kids. Or oh. not. Or, or <laughs> yeah. I made it this far. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I didn't even realize nobody responded to that guy. <laughs> I have chat off. I don't even know. He's a champ tourney winner, too. Oh, I'll say it. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. Oh, wow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why? Oh, <laughs> I can't help it, dude. Oh, dude, he's a champ. Well, I'm playing nah, for champs, <laughs> champs are I'm the... playing for fun. I just like to have a massive ego trip. <laughs> Champs are the champs are the devil rank in my opinion, bro. I just I'm still I'm saying that just to piss off a few of my friends who are on the team. I mean, look, if you're champs, you can easily get 1800. <laughs> okay. It's true. It's true. Thank you for it's feeding true. the egos of my the of my grand champ friends. Brain power. Like my grand champs who aren't even grand champs. Yeah, I mean, I know SSLs I can't half flip, so I mean, <laughs> big challenge. Oh, I tried. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Yo, about to start nice. flipping in a second. <laughs> Can we get this piece real quick? Thank you. Wait, what? Okay. Come uh, on, nurse. Internet. Nurse? Did you just call me nurse? English? My nurse? Nurse. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Internet. Alright, I'm storing this. Yeah? Nah. Oh, no, yeah, big slots. No, watch this. Okay. Oh. Bro, Jerry, where's the. Where's the motivation? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was being realistic. <laughs> Nah, man. I haven't uh, left the backboard in like five minutes. Yeah, he's waiting way, on somebody to bang it to him. I got this you. This is replay you. reviews go to. I just bully them and they learn from it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go that. Oh, I'm going backboard now. Uh, I oh, got you. only 10 seconds. I yeah, bang that. Can I have some boost, please? I'm just going to chill downfield. Oh, my God. Oh, don't let him score. Boost. No, oh. no way. It's cool. Keep it up. Oh. <laughs> All right. right, well, this has been my interview with KSU. Thank you guys each uh, for coming. <laughs> Curse, Wild Cherry, Moonshine, for the people at mm -hmm. home, definitely tune in to the next CRL season. Hopefully we'll see these guys on the main stage again. Hopefully. <laughs> you might see me on the stage, dude. Yo! That's all we want to see. <laughs> Anyways, we'll definitely be supporting you guys from home. Thank you so much, and peace, everybody. See ya.